Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Flow Sunday service. It's a blessing to have you join us once again. We're excited here in this studio for what's to come. I'm sure you're excited at home. If you can hear people cheering in the studio, it's a blessing. As you're joining, we want to make sure that you're liking. Okay, don't skip the like button. Add a comment as well, okay? Let us know that you're here by commenting. Tell us where you're tuning in from. Let us know what nation you're tuning in from. And even let us know what you're excited for today. You can even maybe guess what we're, we're going to be talking about today. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. So share in the comment section now. Let us know that you're a part. And of course, share that link. I hope you have a whole strategy now in sharing the link, okay? This shouldn't be your first time learning that sharing is a thing that we do here is your if it's your first time well sharing is a part okay so share the link invite someone new invite your family members invite your friends just share the link on whatsapp in any group that you're in on a broadcast list you can also share your stories is a perfect place to share the link instagram stories facebook they also have stories right X as well, Snapchat, TikTok, all of the all of the platforms. You can send an email, it's not a problem. If you still have fax, you can send a fax. Share the link. And trust that someone will be blessed today by the grace of God. I'm sure you know someone. We all know somebody, I'm sure, that doesn't go to church or doesn't really have a strong relationship with God. So invite that person today and believe that from today their life will never be the same again. We have so many testimonies from so many people and their life has changed. So trust that this link, you may have given up on some people when you think this person will never be saved or this person will never take church or God seriously. But trust in God, believe in God and as you share, believe that something will trigger them to be a part of today and the Lord will come upon them. What a blessing, what a blessing. I hope you've liked, I hope you've commented and I hope you have shared that link and trust that someone will be blessed by your sharing. Now I want you to prepare yourself as we go into our time of prayer. Oh, what a blessing. What a blessing what a blessing it's a blessing to see another sunday morning like today so we are here so grateful to god for his mercies so grateful to god for his grace and keep on sharing the link keep on telling your friends that flow church service is on i have shared so i encourage you to also share and please remember, you can also put the link on your WhatsApp status. It's possible. So that onlookers will know you are up to something. They will surely click on it to, to check what it is. So keep sharing the link. God bless you as you share the link. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We want to pray this morning in Acts chapter 2. In Acts chapter 2, from verse 1, we read that, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in one place, with one accord. They were all with one accord in one place. Verse 2 says that, And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. Verse 3 says, And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like us of fire, and it sat upon each of them. The next verse says, and they were filled with the Holy Ghost and began 
to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance. Now, they were speaking in tongues. What was the tongue about? Verse 11 will tell us what the tongues were about. In verse 11, the Bible says, Cretes, Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. So the tongues they were speaking were tongues of praises and thanksgiving about the wonderful works of God. So it's wonderful to note that when the Holy Spirit came upon the church the first time, he led them to pray and thank and praise God. We, we, always, we always enter his gate with thanksgiving. There is, I was wondering what the tongues were, was about, that the tongues were about. But the tongues were not intercession for anybody. The tongues were not praying for anything. They were not asking for anything. When people heard the tongues, those who could understand, they heard them praising the Lord. Lord, we praise you for your wonderful works. Lord, we, we exalt you. Lord, you are great. Lord. So the first time tongues, the first time the Holy Spirit came upon the people, and the first time people were heard speaking in tongues, the word were words of praise, thanksgiving, adoration unto the Lord. You want to rise to your feet wherever you are, at home, in the office, everywhere. We also want to pray this morning and want to enter his gate with thanksgiving. We want to pray and praise the Lord for his wonderful works. Look at your life. Look around you. Look at what happened to you last week. Look at how you've traveled. You are back. You sat in a car. You went to the hospital. All these things that happened, they are wonderful works. And if you have nothing at all to talk about, look at yourself. One human being standing here right now as you are at home. Many systems are working in you. As your respiratory system is working, your circulatory system, blood is also working differently. Your digestive system is also working differently. Different factories in you are working simultaneously. All of them are doing their work. You standing there alone, you are a wonderful work of God. You are a miracle. You want to pray this morning and say, Father, I thank you for your wonderful works. I praise you for your wonderful works. In the name of Jesus, you want to rise to your feet. Let's thank the Lord. Let's show to God that we appreciate him. Let's show to God that the works his works are wonderful everything he does everything he has done everything about this earth everything about God is wonderful you want to pray and declare his wonderful works his wonderful works his wonderful works, his wonderful works. His wonderful works. oh Lord oh, we praise yes, you Lord. we praise you we praise you and they were praying in tongues they were speaking in tongues blessing the Lord Omana Kosahai, Joda Bala Zagava, Lonsara Bala Lama Godivana, La Shanda Bala Zaba, Ole Mansati Bala Baba Dalaba, Nikos Kadiva Lando Soil, Bless the Lord in the Spirit, Libarosa, Bless the Lord with your Spirit. So vembele mazuka pala la ba la ba la ba. Olenko sova diva. Mayo yes salabato beneme. Langa no bashanda ba 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 ba. Bless the Lord with the Spirit. Malaka shode ba ya lokomboza. Vanda ba la le. Supara da da ba da ba ba. Eka razo be ne me ge ne be ne be ne be ne be. Oh, langsa ma 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 ma. Your wonderful works, O God. Your wonderful works, O God. The wonderful works of God. The wonderful works of God. God bless him and thank him. Oh ya Oh, 
la gosha la ba ba la ba ba, ma sandele ma kurata la ba la la ba, iya do shanda la ba ba la ba, aya do fande ne me ne, la ba da la ba la la ba la la ba la la ba la la ba ya. Aya shonde re 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 ba ba la la ba ba ya soka ba di re 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 oh ra ba 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 la la ba ba la la ba la la ba la la ba ya zaba pura ba 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 oh shonde le mamando sa kadi ba la ba da la ba ba we bless your name we bless your name we thank you Lord for your wonderful works for your wonderful works. For your wonderful works, Galamanda by Ore Palasanda Lababa, Iyan Domeke Lama Sandi Lime. For your wonderful works, Lord, we praise you. We praise you. Keda Mazo de 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 de. Kura ba 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 la ba la ba la ba la ba la ba la ba la. Oya da ba, shoke de ma, la shanda ba ba la la ba la la ba. Ora ma ma zonde de 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 de. Oh, ra ba 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 la ba, le zamande le ba 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 ba. Ora ba la, ola masia da ba ba. Ere me me de kura ba la ba ba. Isa ma da la ba ba de 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 ma. Oh, ra ba ba la ba ba la ba ba la la ba. Iyando ke sanda baba, malaka shande me me de le baba. Oh, raba baba baba, we do hear them speak in our tongues. The wonderful works of God, the wonderful works of God, with the wonderful works of God. Oh, you are great, you are wonderful, and everything you do is wonderful. Your works are wonderful. We praise you. Exalt your name. Oh, be exalted, be exalted, be magnified, be magnified on our praises this morning. Be magnified. subscribe tap on the subscribe as well and tap on the subscribe yes God bless you now we want to pray for the Holy Spirit oh how we need the Holy Spirit in John chapter 15 Jesus said without me you can do nothing Without me, you can do nothing. There is nothing we can do without the Holy Spirit. We want to pray this morning for the Holy Spirit. 
He is everything to us as Christians. He is everything to you this morning. My dear pastor, you are going to preach this morning. You can preach powerfully. You can explain the scriptures. But without the Holy Spirit, nobody will be convicted. Converted. There will be no conviction. You can only speak to persuade human minds. But it's the Holy Spirit who converts human hearts. He is the only one who can touch the heart of people. We want to pray this morning. My dear friend, you also need the Holy Spirit. You cannot stand even for one second without the help of the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit. We want to pray this morning for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we need you. Holy Spirit, please fail us. Now understand that the Bible also tells us continually. Look at it. John chapter 15, verse 5. It says, I am the vine. You are, ye are the branches. He that abided in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. For without me, ye can do nothing. And he knew what he was talking about. Because even Jesus Christ waited to be anointed of the Holy Spirit. He waited for the Holy Spirit to come upon him before he stepped out to do anything. Jesus, even Jesus, we want to pray. Now, in Luke's gospel, in Luke's gospel, during the baptism of Jesus, in Luke chapter 3, the Bible says that when Jesus was baptized, he was praying. Hallelujah. Now, normally when we read that scripture, we think that Jesus was standing in the queue praying, 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 praying. When it was his time, he went to be baptized. Then the Holy Ghost came upon him. But we are going to read that scripture again. He actually went into the water. When he came out, then he was, then he was praying. As he was praying, then the Holy Spirit came upon him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, it's always important. So, Jesus was baptized. It was not the what entering into the water that brought the Holy Spirit upon him. He prayed for the Holy Spirit in Luke chapter 3. In Luke chapter 3. Now, when all the people were baptized, it came to pass, Jesus being, you see, the way the, 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 the way they've been. So, I want us to look at the New Living Translation so that you can, and New Living Translation, okay, the NLT. Then, any other version. You see, one day, one day, when the crowd were being baptized, Jesus himself was baptized. So you look at it. People were being baptized. Then Jesus was also baptized. Then after he was being baptized, after he was baptized, now the next sentence is that as he was praying, as he was praying, if you look at the NIV, the New International Version, you also see so the act of the baptism took place. Then he prayed for the Holy Spirit. The New International Version. Yes, you will find it by the grace of God. You will notice that he went into the water. People were being baptized. When all the people were being baptized, Jesus was baptized too. So he was also baptized. Then end as he was praying. As he was praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we are also going to pray. I know you have been baptized. Thank God for the baptism. But the Holy Spirit, you have to ask for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit didn't come on Jesus automatically. He prayed for the Holy Spirit. And that is why he also told his disciples when he was going up that, I'm going, but there's a promise. Go to Jerusalem and go there and go and pray. Because the Holy Spirit, he comes when you pray and ask for him. Hallelujah. This morning we are going to pray. I want you to intentionally ask the Holy Spirit, the Lord, please give me your Holy Spirit. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. I need the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, without you, I can do nothing. In the name of Jesus, let's begin to pray right now for the Holy Spirit. 
Pray for the Holy Spirit everywhere. Let's all pray for the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Pray for the Holy Spirit this morning. The Holy Spirit. Without me, you can do nothing. Without him, we can do nothing. Everyone needs the Holy Spirit. The church member needs the Holy Spirit. The pastor needs the Holy Spirit. We all need the Holy Spirit. Pray for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Pray for the Holy Spirit. Even Jesus, he didn't start anything until the Holy Spirit came upon him. And the Holy Spirit did not come upon him automatically. He prayed. He prayed. He prayed. He prayed for the Holy Spirit. Everybody was baptized. Jesus was baptized too. And when he came out of the water, he said, This is not enough. Ah, this is not enough. My God, my God, the water is not enough. I need power from on high. I need power from Pray for the Holy Spirit. 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 Pray for the Holy Spirit this morning. Pray for the Holy Spirit this morning. Pray for the Holy Spirit this morning. Holy Spirit. I need you Holy Spirit. I need you Holy Spirit. I need you Holy Spirit. Pray for the Holy Spirit. Pray and ask the Lord. Fill me this morning fill me this morning. with your holy spirit your holy spirit fill me this morning Lord. with your holy spirit fill me with your holy spirit fill me with your holy spirit fill me with your holy spirit Fill us with your Holy Spirit. 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 Holy Spirit, I pray. Holy Spirit, I need you. 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 Rabba, 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 Rabba,
Pray for the Holy Spirit of God. Pray for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, we pray, fill us, fill me, fill us, in the name of Jesus, Pray for the Holy Spirit. Pray in tongues, pray in the spirit, pray for the Holy Spirit, pray for the Holy Spirit. 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 Pray. Ask God for the Holy Spirit. Ask the Holy Spirit to feel you. To feel you. To feel you. Ramadan, 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 Ramad
Pray and ask God for the Holy Spirit. Ask God for His Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, we are still praying for the Holy Spirit. Now, in Ezra chapter 4, verse, in Ezra chapter 4, verse 3, you will notice that the Bible says that in Ezra chapter 4, verse 3, it says, but Zerubbabel, do you remember Zerubbabel? Zerubbabel. You remember Zerubbabel? Mm hmm yeah, but Zerubbabel and Jeshua and the rest of the chief of the fathers of, the, of Israel said unto them, you have nothing to do with us to build a house for our God, but we ourselves together will build unto the Lord the God house of Israel. As King Cyrus, the king of Persia, has commanded us. Now verse 4, look at verse 4. Now these men set out to work for God to do something for God, to build a house for God. Then the Bible says in verse 4 that then the people of the land weakened the hands of the people of Judah and troubled them. In fact, when you read the other versions, the contemporary version, you see, when you see weaken the hands of the people, what does it mean? We can read from NIV or NLT. You see, they, they discourage, look at it, the, then the peoples around them set out to discourage the people of Judah. And make them afraid. And make them afraid. Now, do you know that the result of this discouragement and making them afraid led them to stop doing the work of God for 16 years. They couldn't continue doing the work of God. They stopped building for 16 years. Just because of this verse. Then the peoples around them set out to discourage the people of Judah. And, and, and make them afraid to go on building. Hallelujah. Now, when you continue and you read verse 7, or uh, verse 6, uh, chapter 6, when you continue to read chapter 6, verse 14, you will see in chapter 6, verse 14, the Bible says that in the midst of the discouragement, after about 16 years, Chapter 6, yeah, yeah. Ezra chapter 6 verse 14. God sent two prophets to come and talk to them. So the Bible says in chapter verse 14, and the elders of the Jews built it. Remember they were discouraged, they stopped building. But then something happened in chapter 6 verse 14. And the elders of the Jews, now they were able to build. They built it and they prospered through what? The prophesying of who? Haggai the prophet and who? Zachariah. Now, so you see, Haggai and then you see Zachariah. Now, what was the prophecy that Zachariah brought that encouraged them that a building that they were building, the work they were doing for how many years? 16 years, they couldn't do it, they stopped, they were discouraged. The prophecy of Zachariah was what? 
Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. You know it. <laughs> what was the prophecy of Zechariah? 4, 6. Zechariah 4, 6. He said, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit. 16 years of stop work, the Holy Spirit came upon them again. And within two years, they finished building the house. I don't know who I'm talking to right now this morning. There's someone who has been discouraged. You are, you are so discouraged. You're so discouraged. Somebody's watching. You can't, you're unable to do the work of God again. You don't know what is going on. We're going to pray for the Holy Spirit. I just read these verses to encourage you that, look, people were doing something for God. We're discouraged and afraid. 16 years, no work. But the Holy Spirit. So in Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6, the word of the Lord came to Zerubbabel. Aha, uh -huh, that's why I told you that. Do you remember Zerubbabel? Yeah, yeah. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6. The word of the Lord came to Zerubbabel. He said that what? Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit. We want to pray. The word of the Lord, which came Zechariah. Z-E-C-H. <laughs> Zek. Yes, even though we say Zachariah, but it's Zek. All right. All right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. We want to pray. Not by might, not by power. Pray for the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will help you this morning. Pray that the Holy Spirit will help you. In the name of Jesus. Pray that the Holy Spirit will help you. Maybe there's a task ahead of you. Maybe there's an impossible work ahead of you. These guys stopped doing everything for 16 years. But the word of the Lord came to Zerubbabel through the prophecy of Haggai and Zechariah. Not by might. Not by might. Stop calculating with your own mind. But by my spirit, says the Lord. Begin to pray the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Pray the Holy Spirit. 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 Pray for the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are. Then he answered and spake unto say, This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel. Say, Not by man, not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. Pray for the Holy Spirit. 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 The Spirit of God will raise you out of discouragement. I don't know why. He will raise you out of discouragement. Yes, there is someone praying with us this morning. I don't know why, but you feel so down, discouraged. And this morning, the Holy Spirit, just pray for the Holy Spirit. The presence of the Holy Spirit. He will breathe on you again. He will breathe on you again. Pray in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit. Kapala mala madala ba, sande mene me, some le maro, kabada bada bada ba, hola pala ba, pray for the Holy Spirit, mashkati bala bala ba, go sandi mili adaba, landa bala masa, hoke de malo sande le baba, la bala bado vadiga barenos, boshkati bala bala la bala ba. Pray in the spirit. Pray in la kupara dana mama. Yes, la baroka pala baba. Ele mone mene ma. Leza bara pana bara. Na do sada ba. Yes, adolo sada ba. Kena ma. 
Lando Bushana Baba, Sura Peli Mora Baba, in the Lassia Parada, Rolo Sia Padibato, Rababa Baba, get a Baba, Mando Lobosa, Mando Lobosa, Mando Lobosa, Mando Lobosa, Rababa Baba, get a bed of the bed of the Lama Marasu, the bed of the bed of La dobo sana bala 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 Son of man, pray for the Holy Spirit. 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 He can make it happen. He's the one who will help you to do it. He's the one who will help you to do it. Pray for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, are, we have some few minutes. We are praying for the Holy Spirit. You know what Zerubbabel was trying to do? He was trying to build a game. Something that Solomon, the wisest and the richest, built. Can you imagine? You are the one that God has chosen to do a work that somebody like Solomon did. Solomon, whose fame, the wisest and the richest. Now, secondly or thirdly, Solomon. He lived in an era where there was peace all around him. And Jerusalem and, and Israel was established. This is Zerubbabel who is coming to do the same work. When they are coming out of captivity, there is nothing. That, he is not the wisest. He is not the richest. But he is the one that God says he should do the same thing that Solomon did. By all means. When the people came to discourage him, he will get discouraged. Me after all, what do I have? Me after all, what do I have? So he was thinking, I don't have the might. I don't have the power. Then the, and then God sent Ze Zachariah to tell him, I know you are thinking that you don't have the might. You don't have the power. Forget about all these things. It is not by might. It's not by the might of Solomon. You don't need the same might and the power of Solomon. What you need is the anointing. By my spirit, you will build this thing. By my spirit, this church will grow. By my spirit, you will be able to build this house. And so, Zerubbabel, just get up and Call upon me. Let my spirit fill you. We want to pray for the last time. I think that I've explained it further. You want to pray. There's a task ahead of you. It's, it looks so huge. How do I go about it? How can I do it? Just pray for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. Pray right now and ask for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. It's not by human power. It's not going to be by human force. It's not by power. It's not by mind. But by my spirit. But by my spirit. What God wants me to accomplish is too big. It's too big. Difficult. How can I do it? By the spirit. By the anointing. By the anointing. Pray for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Pray for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. The Magada bala 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 bala, the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Ola prasanda baba, le baloka bala baba. Pray for the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Malasanda bala ba, kote bele malosanda baba la ba. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. Pray, the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Shora bala zada bara ba. Ele mando lobos, ele mando lobos, ele mando lobos. Rapa bana manda na mama na mama. How can we be able? To, how can we do this? How can we accomplish this? How can we continue the same work that Solomon, 
the wisest, the richest, the peaceful. Oh, pray, pray. But the Lord says, it will not take any of those things. It is my spirit, but by my spirit, but by the Holy Spirit. Pray for the Holy Spirit. Pray for the Holy Spirit. Matola babaladaya. Erna mazanda la babalaba. Mashkatela mandolo mozadebe. Erna mama mala mama la bababa. Oh, sama mala babala la ba. Ela mazanda le 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 le. Rababala babala la baba. Randolo mozade le 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 le. Anything, everything, any task, any work. Pray for the Holy Spirit. Pray for the Holy Spirit. Pray for the Holy Spirit. La ba 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 la ba ba la ba. Ayanda ba la ma ma la la ba ba la la ba. Shala ma da la ma ma da la ba ba la la ba ba la la ba. Oh, rekati vana marosande le ba ba. Pray the Holy Spirit. Pray for 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 the Holy Spirit. Ye da ba na ma do la si ya da ba la la ba. Ha ba 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 la ba la la ba sha da la ba ba da la ba ba. Oh ra ba 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 la la ba ba la la ba la la ba la la ba la ba. On YouTube, pray for the Holy Spirit. YouTube, time, help me, Holy Spirit. Help me, Holy Spirit. Aya la ma sha da ba de 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 de. Help me, Holy Spirit. Anoint me with your Spirit, O Lord. Mala mama on Facebook pray for the Holy Spirit and type help me Holy Spirit anoint me Holy Spirit oh la ba 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 la ba shale bele soda anda mama mama zaya era bosha dele bebe dele mama na la ba ba ya la sati kaba mando sele bebe dele bebe bebe help me Holy Spirit pray help me Holy Spirit I need you Holy Spirit I need you Holy Spirit rilo soda bele vano shana bana maya oh la sama mana maya the task ahead of you may be bigger than you may be bigger than you may be bigger than your budget may be bigger than what you have scheduled for but pray Holy Spirit it looks impossible it looks difficult but pray for the Holy Spirit not by might not by power but by my spirit Hola Sambe Le Baba Oh Raba Sambe Le Baba La Baba Oh Raba Baba 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 Oh La Baba 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 I need you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For the anointing of the Holy Spirit. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit. The anointing of the Holy Spirit. Anointing of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Amazing. Is that not so? As we are praying for the anointing of the Holy Spirit, do you realize that the task ahead of you, it, it, it's, it looks impossible. You know, it doesn't only look impossible, but in reality, it's impossible. It's, it's impossible for you to be able to, to accomplish something like that. But thank God that it's not going to take your own strength. But in His Spirit, the amazing thing is that his spirit alone also cannot do it. But his spirit needs to work through you to do it. Hallelujah. Yes. Now, this morning I want you to give a Holy, a Holy Spirit help offering. Do you believe that the Holy Spirit will help you? Do you believe it? Yes. We want to give an offering. Lord, thank you that by your Holy Spirit you are helping me. Yes. By your Holy Spirit, you are helping me. Yes, by your Holy Spirit. And it's, it's amazing that this particular work has had to do with building. 
And it's amazing that Zerubbabel was not even a pastor, a prophet. He, if you read, if you read the book, it is a great thing to serve the Lord. You will notice many of these people, they were not even pastors. Yes, Moses was a state man. David was a president. Zerubbabel was a governor. He was a governor. A governor. And God sent a message, a prophet to tell him that even the work you are doing in the building is not by, it's not by political science. It's not by political science. It's not by economics. It's by my spirit. So everyone watching this morning, you are included in this prayer. We want to give an offering to say, Lord, thank you. Thank you that the Holy Spirit, your Holy Spirit is helping me. Everywhere, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this amazing time yes, Lord. of prayer. Thank yes. you for the refreshing that your Holy Spirit brings. Thank you, Lord. We are asking that, Lord, you bless everyone, everyone watching this morning. Yes. Lord, one thing that you have blessed us with, uh, the Holy Spirit, yes. we are grateful. Yes, we ask that you bless our hands. Yes, bless the work of our hands. Of bless our offerings. Yes. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now, you see the offering slides on your screen. If you are in Ghana, in Ghana, you see that there is a number 0530429589. That is the MTN mobile money number. But the good news is that if you are in the United States or Europe or anywhere in the world and you have access to any mobile money app like Pay Angel, World Remit, Tap tap send, send wave. You are able to also send your offering to this same number you are seeing on the screen. You have to just choose Ghana, and then you enter the same phone number zero five three zero four two nine five eight nine. Now, in the United States of America, you can give your offering by sending the text, your amount, and text to four five triple seven. Now, in Kenya and in East Africa, we have the M Pesa. Praise Jesus. So let's do it together. Let's do it. You are able to also do it by bank transfer. The bank account number is right in the middle 0871081972. God bless you. And now you can also do it by sending it to the bank account. In the United Kingdom, Barclays. Yes. You see the number there? 1383012 a Yeah. Now, if you are in any other country in Europe, Switzerland, Italy, you are in Deutschland. Yeah, Deutschland, or you are in Netherlands, or if you are in Norway, or Sweden, Iceland, Greenland, you can also send your offering through the IBAN, E B A N, International Bank Account Number. And the number is long. I wish I could call it out, but it's long. Take a screenshot, write it down. We are waiting for you. And those of us who are using phones that are able to also pick up QR codes easily. Because not all phones are able to pick up QR codes easily. <laughs> Please do so and then give your offering. Well, I'm excited because we are just about to listen to a powerful testimony. And then just give the offering. Just giving your offering. Giving your offering. The powerful testimony is that the Spirit of God is upon us. Oh my God. Yes. You will be the one to be giving a testimony this week. You are the one you are going to say that God came through for me. Especially this week. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Say amen. Type amen. amen. Well, well, well. We are going to listen to God's word this morning. 
Hallelujah. We are going to listen to God's word this morning. And I'm excited because this is the food for our spirit. Hallelujah. God is going to direct us this morning by his word. God is going to show us the way by his word. And so I need you to prepare your heart. I need you to open up your heart because the word of God that is coming to us, I believe that every time my pastor preaches, the Holy Spirit is at work so much that through his preachings, people have taken decision, major decisions in their lives. And I know that this morning is no different at all. The word of God will come to you and you, your life is going to experience a mighty change. Ladies and gentlemen, in 1988, God anointed the pastor I'm about to introduce to us, my pastor and your pastor. God anointed him powerfully, specially for a day like this. And the word of the Lord came to him. You see the way the, the, way the word of the Lord came to Zerubbabel. The word of the Lord came to him that from today, you can teach. And since that day, the teaching ministry of our pastor has been a blessing worldwide. In fact, just two days ago, he was in Miami teaching in a global conference of apostles and prophets. And this morning, we are so privileged that we have him preaching to us again. If you are excited as I am, I need you to rise to your feet. Now, if today is the first time you are watching this program, I can tell you by the end of this service, you will write to me to tell me that you've never heard a message preached like this before. I want you with Jesus joy, clap your hands as we receive our pastor, Bishop Doug Ewan Mills, the pastor of the Flow Church, as he ministers to us. Put your hands together and let's welcome our prophet. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Father, thanks for this amazing opportunity that we have in you. Guide us by your mighty presence. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Now, today I want to share with you um, along very important lines of the presence of God. Amen. Amen. I have a book called The Anointing and the Presence, and that's what I'm sharing from. Because some of you haven't read the book, and you don't understand it. So I want to read it to you, all right? Yes. I'm on chapter 5. Wow. That's where we are starting from. Chapter 5, The Anointing and the Presence of God. Amen. Amen. Now, the presence of God is three different, there are three different relationships that the Holy Spirit has with us. Amen. Amen. And the God with us, God in us, and the Spirit upon. So there are different English words. I don't know how you say it in French. But with us, upon us, and in us. How do you say it in French? With us is what? Avec nous. And with us, avec nous. In us, on nous, on nous. And then, on us, upon us is what? Sur nous. Sur nous, it sounds like a Suriname. <laughs> sur nous, sur nous, okay. Now, as we maintain this, there are different ways you can relate, all right? And each relationship produces different things. Okay, once the relationship changes. Now, the oldest relationship is that human beings have known is the spirit with us. Yes. And that's what we actually refer to as the presence of God. Do you see? Now, the presence of God is God with us. God is with you. All right, now, um, John 14, verse 7, the spirit of truth, John 14, verse 17, whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither 
knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, okay, but he's going to change the relationship and is going to dwell in you and shall be in you. So he's with you, but he's going to change that or add another relationship and is going to be in you. Okay? Now, each of these relationships produces different things. It's like you can have a man, you are a woman related with a man, and when he changes the relationship after marriage, do you see, and then relates with you in a different way, right, then it produces a different effect. So your former friendship now changes, the relationship changes, and it has a different effect. And the effect is to have children. So the relationship changes. But you are still relating with the person before. The person was with you. Then the relationship changes. And that change produces different effects. So each relationship has its effect. So God with you, or the Holy Spirit with you, all right, is what you have in Zephaniah 3.17. And throughout the Old Testament, you find God was with his people. And what happens in Zephaniah 3 says that the Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love and he will joy over thee with singing. Many great things happen because of the presence of God, especially victories in this life. You know, like the Bible says, God was with Joseph. And he made everything that he did to prosper in Genesis 39. But you see, God wanted to make an even greater way of relating with us. And that's why he said, and he will be in you. Amen. Amen. So the, the next relationship is God in you. And that is where you find the Holy Spirit. He says, and they were all filled, Acts 2 verse 4, with the Holy Spirit. They were filled. So he came into them, all right, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So when God now fills you, all right, or goes into you, you speak in tongues. That It changes the effects. You see, nobody spoke in tongues in the Old Testament. No one spoke in tongues. And, and he said, you shall receive power after the Spirit comes upon you and you shall be my witnesses. So when people have the Holy Spirit in them, they speak in tongues and they are witnesses unto God. Amen. Amen. So after the baptism of the Holy Spirit, there was a lot of salvation, a lot of speaking in tongues. So one of the signs of the presence of God in another way, do you see, is the speaking in tongues. Yeah. So when you don't speak much in tongues, you know, you don't speak much in tongues and you don't spend much time praying in tongues, it's a sign that you are not much filled with the Spirit. Yeah. Being filled with the Spirit, which was a brand new thing. God had never done that before. Relating with human beings to come into you. No, 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 no. But in Acts, he did it. And they were all filled with the Spirit. They began to speak in tongues and they became evangelistic. You can easily see the presence of God in that way by whether somebody is speaking in tongues or is evangelistic. Are you with me? Yes. Yes. And so, this is amazing. All right? Now, um, the third way by which the Holy Spirit relates is upon us, upon you. And that is when you describe somebody as being anointed. Okay? And Jesus described it in Luke 4, 18. The Bible says, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Okay? He is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel. So, that's why I said, oh, this man is anointed. 
it means the spirit is upon him. Do you see? And he's anointed to preach, to teach, and to do all those things. Many Christians don't preach. Many Christians don't teach. There are many people who speak in tongues, but they don't preach. Do you see? There are many people who speak in tongues. They don't, they don't preach. They don't teach. So there's a certain something that is missing. Are you with me? Yeah. When people don't have that power upon their lives. That is when you say somebody is anointed. So when a person, there are three ways upon me, and that is anoints me to preach and to teach and to heal. And with me, the Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will deliver. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. And then you are filled with the spirit. The spirit goes in you. And you speak in tongues. And that is why you must speak in tongues. You know, you, these are very different experiences, all right? And so it's very, very important that you maintain these three relationships. Yes, examine yourself and ask how much you speak in tongues. Paul said, I thank God I speak in tongues more than all of you. Watch out for Christians who speak in tongues a lot. That's why when the Pentecostal churches were born, you see that they grew. Many people joined them. Many things grew. A lot of salvation, a lot of changes in the church. Un unrespected people became important. Uneducated people became important. And there, were, there was great growth. There, there's nothing like being filled with the spirit and speaking in tongues. That changed the church like Azusa Street uh, Revival, which brought in the flow and the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Are you listening to me? Now, you can be anointed but not have the presence of God. There are people who are anointed like they can preach powerfully, but God changes the way he relates with them. Why is this? Because the Bible says in Romans 11 and verse 29, the gifts and calling of God are without Repentance. He never changes his mind about the gift that he's given to you. It's like me, you know, in a sense, not like I'm trying to compare myself, but when I put somebody in charge of something, I don't usually change the person. You know, it, it's you who will change, but I may not change. I will not change that person. I just keep on relating with the person. Now, a number of people, you know, have lost the presence of God in the past. And they serve as warnings to all of us. And let's not be deceived. There are things that are compatible with Christianity. A lot of evils are compatible with Christianity. But if you are sensitive, you'll be watching out for these things. Are you listening to me? Number one, Saul. The Bible says in 1 Samuel 16 and verse 13, it said, Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him, and the Spirit of the Lord came upon David. So Samuel rose up, but the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil from, spirit from the Lord troubled him. All right? Now remember that David did not want to kill Saul. He did not want to touch him because he said he was anointed. So even though the Spirit of the Lord departed from him, he was still an anointed person. So David said, I don't want to touch him because he is an anointed person. He said, how can you touch the Lord's anointed and be guiltless? You know, because once a person is anointed, he is anointed. And you see that he, he is anointed to be a king and he remained king for many years. Even though the presence of God in a certain way was gone from him. Yes. So you, you can see that you wonder, that, ah, is God with this person or God is not with this person? And sometimes you see people can live in sin and do many evil things and they are still seeming to be preaching, doing things, doing great things. And so, so just seeing a person as a man of God is not enough. You need to be sensitive 
to be able to detect the presence of God. David, the king, he said, cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Why was he saying that? David knew that he could also lose the presence of the Spirit. He had seen what happened to Saul. He knew the presence of God could leave him even though he was still king and was empowered to be the king. That he could be the king, the pastor, the whatever, but the presence of God is gone. He knew it. And he didn't want to have that experience. Samson is another person. And she said in Judges 16, that is Delilah, the Philistines be upon thee. Samson, because he had cut his hair, according to her. She was a hairdresser. So she, she, he had cut her hair. And he walked out of his sleep. And he said, I will go out as at other times before. And I will shake myself. Because the Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. So I will shake myself. And he wist not that the Lord was departed from him. Are you there? So when Samson revealed his secret to Delilah, he put himself in danger and the presence of God left him. This led to a change in his ministry. He suffered setbacks. And his circumstances changed. However, true to the word of God, the gifts and calling never changed. And he was empowered to fight on and do the work of God, even in that modified and weakened situation. So, and the Bible says, and Samson called upon the Lord and said, oh Lord God, remember me and strengthen me to do my work that you've called me to do. And I pray thee only this once, O God, that I may be avenged of the Philistines for my two eyes. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars which the house stood on, and it was born of one with his right and his left. And Samson said, let me die with the Philistines. And he bowed. So in that weakened state where the Lord had left him, there was still some amount of power to do something. That's why you have to be careful with anointed people. You have to be careful. Even you see the person seems to be falling. The person seems, a, a man, a, a good example is um, George Jeffries. You know, he was very, very criticized. But he is the one who prayed for Bonke just before he died. Yeah. He was very criticized of uh, he's like this, he's that. He's, he was rejected virtually. But he prayed for Bonke just before he died. Oh, Yes. You need to be careful with anointed. So in his modified and weakened state, where the presence of God seemed to have left him, he was still empowered for his work, for his ministry. That is to be stronger than natural and to fight the enemies of God. And Samson said, let me die with the Philistines. And he bowed himself with all his might, and the house fell upon the Lord and upon all the people that were therein. So the dead which he slew at his death were more than they which he slew in his life. Yeah. They accomplished more. Accomplishment comes from the anointing. That's what Jesus said. The spirit of the Lord is upon me to accomplish certain things. And that's why he was a preacher to the poor. He was healing the sick. He was opening the eyes of the blind. That is is a certain power that comes on you. And that one, it may be there, but the presence of God may go. Yeah. Judas, another one. After the sop, Satan entered into him. And Jesus said unto him, that thou doest, do quickly. Judas was one of the 12 disciples sent out to heal, to teach and freely minister. Jesus himself did not strike Judas. Because he was one of the anointed apostles and disciples. Yeah. Yeah. He warned him several times, but Judas took no heed. And Judas walked away. And, Jesus, and, 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 and from the presence of Jesus, he walked away from the presence of Jesus. And he said, behold, the hand of him that betrayeth is, me, is with me on the table. And truly the son of man goeth as it was determined. But woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. And Judas walked away from the presence of Jesus with the power. 
of a disciple. Yes, with the power of a disciple. I remember the first time I heard Benny say that Jesus, we should take note that Jesus didn't say anything about Judas. Because Judas was carrying the anointing. Yes. I remember. He said, he left, he left him. And he was carrying the power in the name of a disciple, in the power of a disciple, and from the presence of Jesus. And he used that power to betray Jesus, although he wasn't really betraying Jesus. He was fulfilling many scriptures that had to be fulfilled. The presence of God is the goodness of God and the presence of his person with you. Having a gift and being able to work for God is not the same as having the presence of God. In the parable of the wheat and tares, Jesus revealed a startling truth. He said, that the tares and the wheat, those with the presence and those without the presence, were remarkably similar. If you ever see a picture of wheat and tares, you will understand why Jesus warned you not to touch the wheat. They are so similar that you destroy a large portion of wheat in your bid to root out tares. Yeah. Those who carry the presence and those who do not are very similar. It is not easy to tell that the presence of God has departed from a minister. So perhaps the only way to be able to see the difference is in the fruits. The sign of the presence of God in the early church was the winning of souls and a bearing witness of Jesus Christ. Today, the reaping in of dollars, pounds, and euros, rather than the reaping of souls, are used as markers of success. We do not need markers of success. We need markers of the presence of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 How do we know that the presence of the Holy Spirit is there? And you see that in the early church, the presence of God in a certain way was known and seen by speaking in tongues and being evangelistic. Yes. Makatara musata shalababanda. And you can sense there's a presence. Yes, evangelism, and you can sense there's a presence. Not economics, agenda, and what? Uh, leadership, and uh, 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 financial, whatever. That's not the sign of the presence. Look at it carefully. And you see that you can minister without the presence. He wished not that the Lord had departed from him. As for ministering, many are ministering. You can minister without the presence of God. Samson did his work without the presence of God. The Lord, he said he wished not that the Lord had departed. And we never heard that the Lord returned. Yeah, he never returned in that way. You see, you can go away from somebody. The person may be in your life, but not in that way. Yes, not in that way. There are people that I've related with. I'm still in their life, but not in that way. There is a way I related it, but not in that way. Yeah. I still relate. We can relate with you, in you, upon you. But remember, I choose, okay, I only relate with you, but I'll not relate in you. I'll not relate upon you. That's what the Holy Spirit can choose. I'll, I'll, okay, I'll be, with, I'll be in you, and I'll be upon you, but I'll not be with you. Something about my relationship with you changes. Look at some of your old boyfriends and girlfriends. How did you relate with them? Now you relate, you may, you may still relate, although you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Yeah. That's why you keep getting into trouble, because you still have such people as friends. Yeah. Such people can call you and text you. Yeah. Somebody that was like you were married with the person before, although you were not married. And the person is still able to call you and text you. Charlie, how is, it? How, how is the marriage? Charlie, it's not easy there. It's also not easy here. This is happening here. What's happening there? Hey. Ah, no, I don't know why. I, I, I miss you. Hey. I miss your love. <laughs> Stop acting as though you don't understand my messages. The relationship is supposed to change. And the relationship is supposed to change to zero. You are not supposed to even know the person, the, the person exists. Yes, but rather you have a number. 
and you are sending messages and calls and checking. How is it there? It's not easy here. How, how about your end? Ah, I miss you. Can I see you on a video? Yeah. Are you listening? My message is very short today. I hope you are listening. Now, the presence of God is the glory and the goodness of God. Yes. I want you to listen to this part because it's an interesting reality. Yeah. Exodus chapter 33. Moses said to God, I'm in chapter 7 of my book. He said, my presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. Now, Moses said, if your presence does not go with me, carry not us up hands. For wherein shall it be known that I and thy people have found grace in thy sight? Is it not in that thou goest with us? So shall we be separated. I and the people from all the people that are upon the earth. And the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this thing. Underline that part. I will do. In, in the book, it's capitalized. I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken of. For thou hast found grace in my sight. And I know thee by name. And he said, I beseech thee, show me thy glory. That Moses was very quite asking eh, things. You know, this type of people can ask for bold things. Yeah. Now, from this scripture, we see Moses negotiating with God for his presence. And the Lord agreed to answer Moses' prayer. I, that's why I gave you eight prayers. Remember? Pray for the spirit of humility and holiness. Pray for the spirit of faith and love. Pray for the spirit of wisdom and power. And pray for the presence and the anointing. This is the praying for the presence part. He said, show me. Give me your presence. And the Lord agreed to answer Moses' prayer. And he said, I will go with you. I will show you my presence and my glory. Now, the presence of God is the glory and the goodness of God. God's answer to Moses' request for his presence was what? To show him his glory. His goodness, his mercies, his graciousness, and his name. Four things. Yeah, that was his answer. And you wonder, really? Is that the presence of God? But when you read it, you'll be amazed. So number one, the presence of God is the glory of God. Number two, the presence of God is the goodness of God. In Exodus 33 verse 19, he says, and he said, when he said, I'll show you my glory, verse 18 and verse 19, he says, I'll show you my glory and I'll make all my goodness pass before thee. So the presence of God is his goodness. Then the presence of God, number three, is his name. His name. Mm. Number four, the presence of God is his graciousness. Yes, his graciousness. And number five, the presence of God is the mercy of God. Amen. Now, all these are definitions of the presence of God and are revealed from the revelation that Moses had when he asked for the present. So when Moses asked, show me your present, God said, okay, I'll answer you. And this is the answer. I'll show you my mercy. I'll show you my graciousness. I'll show you my name. I'll show you my glory. This is how I'll answer your prayer of showing you my presence. This is how I'll answer you. Hey, is that the presence? Listen carefully. When the Lord eventually showed him his presence and passed before him, great declarations were made. These declarations revealed the goodness, the kindness, the gracious, and the merciful, loving character of God. The presence of God reveals the good nature of God. This is the same thing we experience when we get close to people and experience their presence. When you get close to somebody and experience the person's presence, you start to notice certain things that never come if you are not in the person's presence. True or not true? When, when you know somebody on a television, you know somebody from afar, you have a certain impression. But when you get personal or close, if you ever have a chance, 
you will start noticing so many things you never, you never knew before that you don't see from far. That's because you started to see his presence. So when you come to the person's presence, then you start to see, ah, and you start to see the beauty, the graciousness, the mercy, certain characters which are the beautiful characteristics of God. Are you with me? Yes. Now notice, this is what happens when you get close to people and we get to know their true character and their nature. It's what you get when you get really close to somebody. When you live in someone's presence, you will find out if they are lazy, if they are wicked, or if they are loving. Oh, how can I know that you are lazy? Lazy bones. I need to be in your presence. You will know when someone is wicked when you stay with the person in his presence. Those of you who think you know me, you know me when you are in my presence. Or if you have a chance to be in my presence in reality. So when, when Moses said, show me your presence, I'll show you. Then these are what you see. Yeah. A person's real beauty is when a person is actually in your presence. That's the real beauty. Not what you see on the wedding. That white and this and that's not the person's presence. You now see the person's presence, beauty, and reality when you live in the person's presence. That's when you see ah, smelling, lazy, <laughs> moody, dark, wicked, everything. That's what comes with presence. That's why Moses said, when God said, I'll show you my glory. I'll show you my graciousness. Because when you come close to me, that's all you feel about me. It's my love, my beauty, my graciousness, my mercy. That's, what, that's who I am and that's what you really see. Those who are far, they see power, they fear. They, when they come near, you see love, you see graciousness, you see mercy, you see whatever. What do we feel when we come into your presence? That's why you can really only ask the spouse. To tell the truth. Which people don't tell when, when there's a funeral. You know, everybody at a funeral will say, my loving husband was an amazing person. I will miss when you made spaghetti for us on Saturdays and I will miss when you did this. Huh? It's what? If, I can, if there's one word I can use to describe him, it's what? Kindness. I mean, people have many things that they say. I'm not talking about that speech. I'm talking about when the person tells you the reality of what he experiences in the presence. I once had a close interaction with a man who was a pastor of a church. After my close interaction with this individual, I came away with the feeling of having met an extortionist. Yes. Yes. I thought I'd been in the presence of somebody who extorts money. I felt I'd been in the presence of a malicious person. And I felt I'd been in the presence of a Lucifer. Yes. Amazing. In spite of his soft spoken presentation, I came away from this person's presence with a negative impression. Getting up close and personal with anyone will most likely reveal the person's true nature. Marriage is an encounter with a person's presence that reveals their true nature. Marriage is where you live in the presence of an individual almost continually. It is there that you discover the qualities, good or bad. It's there you may discover a person is lazy, wicked, incompetent, evil. You discover fears, anxieties, complexes, ways of thinking. Being in the presence of a person reveals all these things. And that is why when Moses said, show me your presence, God said, I'll show you my presence. I'll show you my kindness, my nature, my love. And my graciousness. How many want to see God's kindness, love, and graciousness? Every standing. Oh, Lord. Stand to your feet. Yes, Jesus. Uh -huh. 
I want us to pray oh, yes. for the presence of God. The presence of God. Amen. Amen. I want us to ask God for his mighty presence. Mighty Amen. presence. Amen. Ask God for his mighty presence. Yes, Jesus. In your life. Yes, Lord. And I believe that God. Remember that I said we should pray for the presence of God. The presence in of your God. life. Yes, increase Jesus. the presence. Yes. And increase your anointing in the name of in Jesus. In my life. Yes. Every Lord. hand lifted up Mando everywhere. Wherever you are. Ask God for his presence. Ask God for his presence in your life. Yes, Lord. Ask God for His presence. Oh, Yamba, in your life. Ask God for His presence. Kapa, Ma pele no kuso, Aropo no kuso, de be de de be de de be de de be. Ayada, ba 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 la la ba. Keda ba roshanda la ba ba la ba ba la ba ba. Iza breko shanda ba ba la la ba ba la ba ba la ba la ba la ba. Oh ya da ba sonda de be de Oh rapa mama zonde de be de de be de de be Gala maduka pala la ba ba The presence of God The presence of God Father I ask for your presence I ask for your presence I ask for your presence I am ba la sonda la ba ba I ya da ba sonda la ba ba la ba ba la ba ba Ha komba se me ne ne ma ba la ba ba ya Mando so pratika pa la la ba ba la la ba ba. Oh, we pray for your presence. We pray for your presence, Lord. I pray for your presence. I pray for your presence. I pray for your presence. I ya ba 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 ba. Ando mashada la ba ba la ba ba. Hera so pa ne ne ma ba la ba ba la ba ba. We pray for your presence. We pray for your presence. I go to the Bosa. La ba 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 ba. Oh, I send the ba ba la la ba ba la la ba ba la ba. I pray for your presence in my life. Your presence in my life. Go show the Borodo. La ba 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 la la ba ba la la ba ba. I cannot wait. So be de be de be de de be de de. The presence of God. Alambade, ropele malosanda la ba ba, mandopele le makusanda la ba ba la ba. Oh yo zomoro no mosi anda la ba ba la ba. I pray for your presence in my life. I pray for your presence in my life. I pray for your presence in my life. Show me the people la ba ba la ba. Kero kobo no do ba ba la ba ba la ba. The presence of God. I ask for your presence, of God. I ask for your presence in my life. I just the presence of God means the glory of God. The presence of God means the goodness of God. The presence of God means the name of God. The presence of God is the mercy of God. Oh, let your goodness, let your mercy, let your glory, Lord, be in my life. The presence of God, the glory of God, the goodness of God, the mercy of God. La kosha baba la, la kosha baba la, la panda la baba la suwa da ba, ma yo ve de ve de ve de ba, la bo 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 shande de ve de ve de ve de ve de. La kora baba la ma shande de ba, the presence of God. Sunday, le be 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 be. Kalama dolo bo bo bo. Raba ba ba ba. Lama Sunday, le be 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 be. Oh, raba ba ba ba. Your presence. Your presence. La ba 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 la la ba la la ba la la. Maya do bo sana la ba ba la ba ba la ba la ba la. Oromo mo sana le be 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 be
We thank you yes. that we will have an increase in, in, your, presence in your presence as presence. never before. Oh, yes. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 Now, in conclusion, just sit down for a moment. Just to conclude, we, as we have prayed for an increase, 2 Samuel 16 and verse 19, it says... Whom should I serve? Should I not serve in the presence of his son? As I have served in thy father's presence, so will I be in thy presence. Amen. Amen. We are going to serve God in the presence of God and not without the presence. You know, the stories that I've told about Saul, Samson, David was afraid this was going to happen to him. Judas and so on. You see there's a great danger that you may end up serving God by serving him out of his presence. Or is it that a certain relationship of the Holy Spirit is not there. 
Now, if you know the church, you know that there's a lot of evil in the church. Yeah, there's a lot of evil in the church. Many people are called priests, pastors, Christians. Now, you wonder. And in the name of the Lord, many people are doing various things. But I believe that God is bringing us, you know, for me, I would say that this has been since I was in secondary school. I realized that you can be there without the presence of God in a certain way. So don't take it for granted. And always, for me, when I look at people, I minister with people, I see, I'm going to see, does this person have the presence of God? Or there's nothing. It's just talking, talking. And I believe that God's presence is going with us. Every standing. Father, thank you for your mighty presence, for serving in your presence. What, an, what a great advantage we have to serve in your presence. Glorify your children. Let it never be said about any of us that yes, we are serving, but where is the presence of God? Thank you. Your presence goes with us. And you are with us in a special way. We give you thanks. And we give you praise. Now lift your hand. May whatever benefit there is for serving in his presence, may that benefit come to you. Yes. 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 As you have prayed for the presence of God to increase in your life, May the presence of God increase and may you enjoy the benefits of serving in his presence. Glory and honor are in his presence. Strength and gladness in his place. Father, thank you. Thank you for the choice to work in his presence. Oh, yes. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You know, I want to say something. You know, there are many people in Ghana, we have a president, President Akufuado. You know, if you serve in his government, you can serve in his presence, or you can be serving him, but you are in the northern region. But you still serve him. But there are those who serve right in his presence. How many agree that there will be a different experience? Yes. So that is the difference between serving in his presence and far away from his presence. Whenever you've ever served in the presence of somebody, you will know there's a difference. When Nehemiah was feeling sad in the presence of the king, the king said, "Ah, why are you sad? Do you think they will notice whether you are sad when you are in the other regions? They will never see God is blessing you to have the blessing of the presence of the king in your life. Father, we lift our hands and we thank you. None of us here shall exist or function outside of your presence from today. Thank you. Thank you for a total relationship with the Holy Spirit. May we never depart from your presence in any way, form, or fashion. We give you thanks and we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. As every head is bowed and every eye closed, if you want to give your life to Jesus, I want you to raise your hand and pray this prayer with me and Jesus is going to come into your life. Say this prayer if you want Jesus to save you today, you want to be saved, washed in the blood of Jesus. Lift your hand and say this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus please, forgive me for my sins. please forgive me for my sins. Today, Today I, open my I open my heart. I receive Jesus, I receive as, Jesus my as my Savior, as my Master, as my master and, my and my Lord. Please write my name write in, my in, the in the book of life. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Thank you, Heavenly for, Father. Saving for saving me today. today. Please write my name, 
in the book of life. Thank you for salvation today in Jesus' name. Amen. If you gave your life to Christ, you pray this prayer. There is a number on your screen. Make sure you type in plus and then all these numbers work from any country. If you are feeling lonely, you need a friend, you have a question, you give your life to Jesus, you pray this prayer with me, text us on this number and God is going to change your life through this interaction. Father, now lift your hand. Whatever we lack, Lord, if there is anyone watching, and your spirit has departed from us. Lord, we are coming back to you. Yes, Lord. We are seeking your presence. Oh, yes, Lord. For any one of us that has fallen away from your holy presence, may we re-experience your presence yes, once Jesus. again. Yes, we beg you, Father. We beg you, Father. We cry. Yes, we Lord. do not accept or want to serve away from your presence yes, any longer. Yes, this is our prayer today and we thank you Father in Jesus name we pray and everyone said Amen and Amen. amen. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 What a blessing. What a word. What a word we have heard from the Lord. It is possible to move around and do so many things for God and not have his presence with you. And we have been blessed this morning by knowing that we always have to crave, always want to be in his presence, that his presence will always be with us. And one of the things I learned this morning is what is the presence of God? That the presence of God is the very character of God. The presence of God is God's goodness. The presence of God is his graciousness. The presence of God is his mercy. Hallelujah. And I would like the presence of God to always be with me everywhere I go. I want to believe God that between now and the end of this year, I will be a man who always is in his presence. Someone who's life is described as when you come around him you know that the presence of God is with him hallelujah that will also be your story today what a wonderful word of God that we have heard this morning we want to say God bless you to our pastor for bringing us a word from the Lord this is a word from the Lord a word from God to us this morning hallelujah we want to give our offering. When you read Ezra chapter 1, the Bible says in verse 1, that now in the first year of the king of Persia, that the word of the Lord came by the mouth of Jeremiah the prophet be fulfilled. The Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus. The Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus. You see, from this morning's message, I've noticed that the presence of God is what enables you also to give See, when you don't have the presence, you will struggle with giving. Giving. Always, you have to struggle this. God will always be struggling with you. But when the presence of God is with you, on you, in you, he doesn't struggle with you because he stirs you up. Cyrus was stirred up. Look at the verse again. He said that, and what? The Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus the king of Persia. Hallelujah. And what did God stir up his spirit to do? God stirred up his spirit to let God's people to go to build for God. And he also added to them all the money. He gave them offerings and even commanded the people of Persia and the people of Babylon to give them offerings to go and do the work of God. Hallelujah. The Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus so that he will let people go and serve God and also to give them offerings. This morning, I am praying that the Lord will stir our spirit up to give. If you continue, he gave them millions of dollars today. Millions of dollars. Thousands of golds, Gold and silver. 
must go and build the house of God. Go and do the work of God. Why? Because the Lord stirred up his spirit. I pray in the name of Jesus that our spirits will be stirred up. When our spirits are not stirred up, we will struggle. You will not even want to give. Even if you will give, you will give under compulsion. You have been forced. But when the spirit of God stirs you up, you just give and give. Give your best to the Lord this morning. On flow service this morning, God is stirring our hearts to give in Jesus' name. Now, we are finished praying. I want you to allow God to use you to give an offering for his work. On your screen, you will see the different, different areas, different platforms, different ways to give. So put it on the screen for us so we can give our offerings. And I will repeat again, in Ghana, if you are watching, you are in Ghana, there's MTN mobile money number, you are free to give through this number. But again, if you are using a bank app, the, if you look at the one in the middle, the slide in the middle, there's a bank account number. You can use your bank app and also give your offering through this means. You are also able to give if you are in Europe or United States of America, Canada, or any other country where you can use any mobile money app. These apps are World Remit, Send Wave, Pay Angel, Tap Tap Send. There are different apps today. Different apps that are used to give mobile money, uh, send mobile money. So use any of these apps. And you can still use the Ghana number, MTN number you see on your screen. Through these apps, no matter where you find yourself in the world, to give. Now, if you are in the United States of America, you can also give directly by texting LCI and then the amount of money flow the next word and then you send it to 45777. In Kenya and in East Africa, you will see the M Pesa account number right there and you send God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Now remember that in the United Kingdom, you can also give your offering with your bank app to the Barclays bank account number you see on the screen. And then we have the IBAN, the international bank account number, which is also there in Europe, anywhere in Europe. Last but not least, for those of us whose phones are able to pick up QR code easily, you just take your phone and then scan the QR code and there you go. It will lead you to the portal where you can send your offering. God bless you. Now remember the Momo number is 0530429585. Eight nine. Some people are listening on radio. Yes. The number again 053-042-9589. And for the last time, the mobile money number, MTN. The MTN mobile money number is 053-042-9589. The name of the account is the Flow Church. God bless you. Well, it's time for communion and our pastor is going to pray for us as we take our communion. So please, just stretch your hands and get your communion element, your bread, your wine, everything as we go together to the table of the Lord and have communion together. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you as we come to your presence. Yes, Lord. To the holy, holy, holy communion. Yes, Jesus. We bow before your presence. Yes, Lord. And we thank you that 
you gave us an opportunity to have a communion, an interaction, a participation, an interaction with you through the Holy, Holy Communion. Father, as we partake of this body, may we be healed of every disease by the interaction yes. of the communion. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Whatever is in our bodies, in the name of Jesus, that is not good. Yes, Lord. And whatever appetite we have, yes, Jesus, that is not a good appetite. Yes, Lord. And whatever we like, that is not good. Yes, Jesus. Let it go out of us. Let it go out of us. As we partake of the amazing body. Yes, Lord. Of Jesus. Christ. Yes, Lord. Yes. The Lord. body of Jesus Christ. The body of Jesus Christ. Now the blood. Thank you for Take the, the blood. wine. Take your wine in your house. Become an expert mm-hmm. at church at home. All right. An expert. An expert. Father. Thank you. We have many mistakes. Yes. Many, 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 many. Oh, Jesus. But thank you for this blood. The blood. Through which we are forgiven. Yes, Jesus. We are cleansed. We are cleansed. And we have a legal basis for coming to you. Yes, Lord. No devil can stop us on the way. In the name of Jesus. No man can accuse us on the way. Yes, Lord. Nobody can dissuade us from coming close to you. Yes. Lord, thank you for the blood. Thank you for that. And as we lift up this wine, we receive, we receive of the blood. We receive of the blood of the lamb that taketh away the sins of the world. Pour upon us your yes, mighty power. Yes, Lord. As we soak ourselves in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. May our sins be washed away and remembered no more. Oh my God. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Christ. Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Now lift your hands. I have one prayer for you today. Father, may a divine order yes. of favor, yes. a surprise order of In favor, the name of Jesus, come upon your children Amen. from the smallest Amen. amongst us to oh, the yes, greatest. Yes, 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 Lord. What we don't deserve, may we be chosen for it. In the name of Jesus. Where we are disqualified, yes, Lord. May we be chosen again. Amen, Lord. Where we don't belong. Oh God. May your favor lift us Jesus. and place us. Yes, Lord. Where even our parents and those from whom we could have inherited Mala, have Mala, nothing. Mala, Mala, Mala. Even we look after them. Yes. I pray that there will be a divine Mala. and a surprise order In of inheritance the name of Jesus. for everyone that is blessed. Yes, let there be a divine surprise order of inheritance and favor for everyone that is part of this amazing place. The Lord bless you. Amen. The Lord make his face shine upon you. Amen. May his brightness characterize you. May his goodness be with you. In the name of May his graciousness be shown to you. Yes. Lord. May his kindness and mercy surround yes, you. Yes, Lord. The Lord bless thee. Amen. And the Lord keep thee. Amen. The Lord make his face to shine and reverse ah. all anger Makuna and angry clouds that, that are headed in your direction. In the name of Jesus. Whatever has targeted you from yes. the enemy's camp. Yes. Boomerangs. Yes. Lord. And returns to send. In the name of Jesus. An eye for an eye and a hand for an eye. Let the enemy's arrows return hundredfold back to the camp of Satan. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let him that loves the Lord mm. and let him that favors the cause of the Lord be blessed. Yes, Lord. Let them that hate the righteous cause and the cause of your servant and your servant be Anatima Maranata according to your holy word. A champion lifts you up and blesses you in this earth. Even before you step foot in heaven, you shall see the glory of the Lord 
the Lord. And His mercy is upon, upon, mercy your life. upon my life. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. For this blessing, Lord. my God. In Jesus' name, I yes, pray. Lord. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. I see a divine surprise Hallelujah. order of favors Zala. upon your life. Thank you. Lord. People will soon be calling you and saying. I want to be like you. Hallelujah. I want to be close like you are close. Hallelujah. Let him that believes experience practically the prophecies I believe. that they believe. I believe. And him that speaks blasphemies, let them be anatema. Maranatha. Maranatha. Lord, come quickly. Lord, come quickly. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you amen. and you may be seated. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. 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 Well, 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 ladies and gentlemen, what do I say to this? Amazing, amazing time in God's presence. Amazing time, amazing word, amazing blessings and prayers yes. over us. Your week is loaded. Yes, Lord. Your week has already changed ahead of you. Your week is blessed. If you are watching and the Lord is touching your heart, you want to give your life to be a missionary, to go out anywhere to serve the Lord. There's a number on the screen right now you are going to see. Do you feel the call of God and want to be sent to any country as a missionary? Send a message, a WhatsApp message to any of these two numbers. Quickly take a screenshot. Quickly note the, note, the number down. Hallelujah. Yes. Do you feel the call of God and want to be sent to any country as a missionary? The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. And please remember that if you need someone to talk to, you need a pastor to talk to. You need a pastor to pray with you and for you. You have a prayer request. An urgent prayer request. Now, we're going to show you a number just to end. Write to us right now. Yes, you watched. You gave your life to Jesus. You surrendered your life to Jesus. When our pastor asked if you want to give your life to Jesus, you prayed a prayer. The number was on, but I want to leave it on for you again as we are ending. This number, please write to us because we are here waiting to hear from you so we can pray with you. And we have so many resources, so many resources to share with you to help you to grow as a Christian. And to this same number, this same number, send your prayer request. Do you need counseling, someone to talk to? A pastor to talk to online. A pastor to pray for you online. Send your message, your request to this WhatsApp number on the screen. It's a WhatsApp number. Send your prayer request, your request for counseling on this number right now. The Lord bless you and have a beautiful Sunday in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.